Good morning guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Eric. Welcome back to House of Eric. So I'm doing two videos a week for you guys. If you're new to my channel, I'm basically new to my channel. Um, I had a channel like four years ago. You'll see in my uh, old videos, I had shorter hair. I was a mess. I was going to delete those videos for you guys, but I'm like, hey, why not let you guys watch them? I can watch them, make fun of myself. Um, yeah, so I'm keeping those videos up, but I'm back. I'm back in action. I'm not going anywhere. Um, if you're new, welcome. I'm Eric. I've been doing a lot of YouTube shorts. Um, I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I do makeup. Um, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't have clients or anything, but I have worked for Morphe. I've been a beauty artist. Um, I've worked for multiple makeup companies and I know a lot about makeup. Um, a lot about skin and I know a lot about hair I'm constantly growing I'm always learning new things but that's why I'm here I'm here to teach you guys everything about beauty um, all that so you're gonna get sorry I'm barely waking up you guys it's like 5 a.m. Um, so that there's that and that's gonna be every Thursday I'm gonna release a video based on hair or makeup reviews um, I'll put my TikTok below. If if not, my TikTok is House of Eric One. Subscribe to that as well. But enough of that. This is about my life and vlogging. So I have two series. I have my hair and makeup series. That's going to be on Thursdays, every Thursday for you guys. And then I'm going to do Saturdays or Sundays. One of them. I'm not sure yet. Whatever works best with your guys' schedule and my schedule. Um, I'm going to be doing my life vlogs. Just let you guys know what my life is all about. I kind of have a crazy life, a crazy family. I have a lot of shit going on. And I'm trying to be like, I'm on this whole like new like vibe, like, I don't know, just health and beauty I've always been a part of, but I'm really implementing health at this point in my life. And I am about to go running and working out. Um, wish me luck. So I figured why not take my bad bitches with me which is you guys excuse the language if you don't cuss but let's go it's early i don't know what the fuck i'm saying period um this is what i'm wearing this shirt is from hold on there's a plane this shirt is from h&m it's just a plain black shirt i normally have my workout shirt but i don't know where the fuck it's at these shorts are from Amazon These shoes are made from recyclable Plastic which I love and they're Adidas. They're running shoes. I actually used to do cross-country. I Haven't shaved excuse me. My legs are hella hairy um, It's funny because I'm like super gay, but I'm super beat up like a straight guy like you would think just by looking like at my bruises and my scars that I'm straight until you go here and I'm like hey um, if you can guess what this is brutal huh if you can guess what that is I'll send you something free true true status um, that'll be for another day though and then of course I have my Adidas backpack normally I'm all Adidas the fuck out like Nike I love you but I don't know I'm just an Adidas bitch oh my god I almost tripped okay so let's fucking do this um, I'm gonna attempt to go running Here's where I'm at. Let me show you this little thing. It's cute. She's giving something. The sun is is coming out. If you're wondering, like, why... I don't know. To me, I feel, like, tired. Like, I'm not giving you everything. But a lot of people tell me that I'm super energetic. I have ADHD. Um, and I'm always on 10. Like, I'm too much for a lot of people. And I really don't give a fuck. But... <laughs> I'm always on 10. Like, as soon as I wake up, boom, I'm ready to fucking go. <coughs> With or without coffee. But, anyways, I'm attempting to do at least a mile around here. Fuck. Wish me luck. I will keep you guys updated. And it's about... I'm in Arizona, and it's about to be summertime. And I want, like... I don't know. I just want to be fucking fit. I feel like a part of beauty and health is fitness that's just my opinion eating healthy and fitness now i'm not dissing anybody who doesn't do that live your fucking life live whatever you want to do live your best life i support you this is just me and by no means listen i'm a beauty expert 
I have a licensed cosmetologist. I'm licensed. I can give you professional, legit information on beauty, everything beauty, but I am not a professional athlete. I am not a personal trainer. Disclaimer, this is just about my life and my fitness journey. I can't give you tips. Oh, I can't give you proven real advice. Throughout this journey, I can tell you what worked for me. You can try it if it doesn't work for you. Don't sue me. Um, if you want like real results, I definitely recommend going to a professional. Enough of that. Disclaimer out. Let's fucking go. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to try and run. I'll keep you guys updated. Wish me luck. I love you bitches. Mwah. Okay, um, update. Let me make sure everything's in frame. Look at the beautiful fucking... Look at that sunrise. Arizona sunrise. Can't beat it. But update. So, ugh. This is, this is a little advice. This is how I stay positive. So there's this fucking... So I'm walking, you know, with vlogging or whatever. Like, straight down here. And then to the left was this fucking guy. I don't know if you can see him. He's like right there. He's on this fucking weird ass like tricycle thing. I don't know. He looks like he's in the fucking circus. Anyways. I'm walking. Minding my own business. Looking at some content that I was that I created and I was just editing. And he like stops. There's two ways to this fucking sidewalk. So he like stops. And I don't fucking see him. I'm in my own fucking world. Watch, he's coming right now, you guys. Okay, so you're gonna see him pass that way. Hold on. So So <laughs> fucking ass, excuse me. So, um, he like stops in the middle of the fucking like sidewalk. And he's just like staring at me. And I don't fucking see him because I'm vlogging, right? So he just like stops right there and he's looking at me. And I'm like, gives me this fucking dumb. You know when they give you dumb ass fucking looks? And they try to make you feel like stupid as fuck. And of course me, like I'm kind as fuck. So I'm like, sorry. And he doesn't fucking say anything. And that's like, ugh. I'm nice. But like I told you, I'm crazy. So <laughs> he didn't say anything. And I was like, sorry. And then he just looked at me. And I was like, you know what? You can't let assholes or dumb people ruin your day, ruin your vibe. Like for mo for some people, that could ruin you that could ruin someone's day. And I totally get it. Look at this fucking ugh, the sunrise. Sorry, ADHD. Back to the subject. Subject. Don't let people ruin your day. People are assholes. Some people are angry in life. Fuck them. Keep living your life. Keep smiling. Keep being a bad bitch. And yeah, that was just a little update. Check out this sunrise, guys. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> okay, update. I've done one lap and I'm like ready to go back and drink some coffee. But I'm going to do at least one more. Just give me a break. It's like my first week working out. Okay? Bye. Oh my god, it's fucking cold. Does anybody else have sensitive teeth? I just got back from running, guys. And I cut this watermelon yesterday. Look at this big ass juicy. Slices. This is just a snack. This is not my breakfast. I'll show you guys what I'm going to eat for breakfast. Hey guys. I'm a little bit more awake right now, but... One thing that I do almost pretty much every day, um, I started this like maybe a month, two months ago, is I do yoga every morning. Running is new on my fitness journey, but like the whole muscle building thing I'm gonna be doing is new, but yoga is a must for me. So I don't know about you guys, but I have suffered with depression and anxiety pretty much since I was like 25, 26, around there. And um, at one point it was really bad. We'll get into that another day. Um, 
But yoga, yoga helps me just uh, namaste. Yoga helps me not snap on a bitch. Yoga helps me not, yoga just calms me. It's like amazing. So that's what I always do in the morning, whether I want to do it or not. Um, I recommend it. I'm not a pro at all. So anyone can do it. I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of it. And then I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to show you guys what I eat in a day. So the one I'm doing, you guys, is called Sunrise Yoga. And it's with... Yoga with Adrienne on YouTube. She's fucking awesome. Highly recommend her. Bring the feet together and squeeze the legs. Really stand up nice and tall here. And when you're ready, draw your hands to your heart. Close your eyes. And then just start to softly move. If you can hear the lawnmower outside, I'm sorry. I'm putting this away. Does anybody know this guy's fucking name? Like, who is he? It's like George Washington or what? All right, guys, I finally got it on the tripod. It's 12 o'clock and it's lunchtime. I did my makeup, nothing fancy. Well, kind of fancy. My motto is there's no such thing as less is more. I don't know, just for me. There's, it's never enough. It's never too much. It's never too much, period. But I do realize that not everyone likes the full glam. So if you want me to do soft glam, everyday natural makeup for you guys who like the natural look, let me know. Comment down below um, and I'll make a makeup video for you guys. But today, like I said, it's 12 o'clock. I put my uh, camera on the tripod because this morning I was like just holding it, making my breakfast. So this morning I had oatmeal and a smoothie. And today, I'm going to have... Let me grab a clean dish. Love. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Okay. I'm going to be having... Like, a, I don't know if you guys know what Chipotle is. Hi, Chipotle. But it's kind of like that minus the burrito. And this is going to be healthy until you see what I do to it. Look, all in time. So I can't be, like, perfect right away, right? Like, I don't want to, like, starve myself. One thing I hate is... Here, let me move it down so you guys can see. One thing I hate is having to starve myself. Like, I'll do a day where I'm eating so, like, clean. Like, water, no soda. I don't even drink soda. Once in a while, I do. But water, water, water. And then I'll eat super healthy, like, oatmeal for breakfast, salad for lunch, um, vegetables and chicken for dinner. And then by the week, I'll continue that for a week. And then on, like, Saturday, which I consider my cheat days, I'm fucking stuffing my face. So it's like, I learned this off of this uh, nutritionist. It's the 80-20 rule. So 80% of the time I eat healthy and 20% of the time I eat what I want. Not necessarily like depriving myself of everything because trust me, I love sweets. Sweets is my thing and I love fucking food. I'm Mexican. Soy mexicano. Hola, mi... Lo, si eres mexicano y está, me estás mirando, me llamo Eric. Mucho gusto. But yeah, my uh, I'm Mexican. We get thrown... I get thrown... I get food thrown at me all the time. So let's just add a little bit more. And this is like a white jasmine rice, black beans. I don't know if this is, what is this? Is that chicken or beef? What the fuck? I don't know. It's good, that's all I know. Um, 
put that in here. So another thing that I practice is, um, another thing I practice is uh, portion control. Portion control has always been a difficult thing for me because I could eat this, I could eat this whole thing, literally. I could eat it, no problem. But I like to like give myself time to like actually like enjoy the food. And instead of eating fast, which I'm a hairstylist my whole life. We hairstylists, if you're watching this, you know, we eat fucking fast, especially in between clients. It's like there's no time to eat in a salon, especially on a Saturday. So I'm used to stuffing my face to the point where I be at dinner with my family and I'm stuffing my face and they're like, fucking slow down, Eric, like chew your food. And I'm like, oh, my God, like I'm just so used to eating fast. Anyways, this is what I'm having, you guys. I'm going to put sour cream on it and I'll see you guys for dinner. Uh, the only thing I'm about to do now is I'm about to go do some homework, edit some content. I don't work today. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys at dinner. You guys, I forgot to add this. Hold on, let me turn on my light. I forgot to add this. One thing I am obsessed with, you guys need to know this, is sparkling water. And not just any sparkling water, it has to be AHA. A-H-A. -A. Highly recommend this, especially what I do in between meals when I get hungry. Instead of grabbing like a snack, like chips or something, I'll just take a sparkling water because the carbonation fills my stomach and it's almost like I had a snack and then it holds me off. But other than that, I love the flavor. I love sparkling water. When I eat something, I have to have like something carbonated. So instead of soda, I always drink sparkling water.